is Luminar AI a big con? There's been so many people asking this question since its release very recently. And I want to get to the bottom of this today in the video. We're going to take a look how it works. Is it any good? Is it offering you anything more than any other software out there? And finally, is it just a big con by Luminar and something that you should steer clear of and completely avoid? Let's just jump straight into this. I want to have a look at the software with you guys and we can see exactly what it offers you. So when I first found out that the noiseless AI extension was going to be following the HDR merge extension, which is very good, by the way, I was a bit unsure because I know that noiseless uh, AI is something that other programs have already done. And uh, I just thought, you know, is this going to be worth a price tag that they're attaching to it? So here I am today. I'm going to see if this is actually a bit of a con on the side of a luminar and it's something that you should swerve or if it's something that you will actually benefit from and if so who's it actually for the best way to have a look at this is to just start using it and see how it performs first off so we're gonna grab a picture i'm gonna grab this one here of my sleepy little cat all this cat does is sleep go outside eat grass and throw up but anyway here is my cat sleeping and as you can see in this picture, there is noise present. Now with the noiseless AI extension, you have this little option up here, which looks like a jigsaw piece. And when you click on this, you will have access to the extensions which you can get inside Luminar Neo. Let's click on this now. Currently, you can see that I have HDR merge installed and noiseless AI. Now, of course, Luminar are looking to promote upscale AI and also AI background removal. These are the next two extensions coming. And if you're already part of the subscription service, you'll get these free. But anyway, I'm not going to go into all that today. There is a link in the description if you want to check that out. But let's just click off this for now and let's have a look at noiseless AI. Now under the extensions tab, this is where it shows up. So if we click on noiseless, you can see it's got the little raw word here, which means that we're working with a raw file. So you can see when we open up the box, we've got these different options available. You've got low, middle and high. And above this, you've got advice. Use the high adjustment for this image. So this means that the noiseless AI is looking into the photo and it's deciding exactly how much noiseless removal we need. So let's just go ahead and choose the high. But first off, let's take a little bit of a close look into this photo to see how good it is at removing the noise. So if I just zoom in here and then just drag it to the side, let's have a look. Now, currently, you can see there's quite a lot of noise here. Now, if you're struggling to see that, let's just zoom in a little bit more and then we'll be able to see how much noise we're actually dealing with in this photo right here. Now, we've got color noise and we've also got a lot of grain, as you can see. So let's go ahead and choose the high option. Let's take the advice and see what happens. And there you go. Now, this has taken a good 30 to 40 seconds to remove the noise from this image. But I can already see it's removed a lot of it. So let's just have a quick look at what we were experiencing before. So this is the before. If we click on the eye, that's a lot of noise, a lot of color issues here that we're dealing with. And then if we just pop that off, you can see that we've really just removed the noise from that. So... I suppose the answer to does it work, my first impression, there was a lot of noise in that photo and it's really removed it very well. But we've got this soft look now, so how would we take care of that? Because we've had the AI remove what it thinks as noise, which is done a brilliant job of, but then we've got these other options down here, which we can use to really get this looking exactly how we want. So first off, I think that I need more detail in this because it's softened the photo. So I'm going to bring back a little bit of the detail, which hasn't really brought back too much noise there. And then I'm also going to sharpen it up to get rid of the softness. And then I'm also going to get rid of a bit of this color denoise here. As you can see, there's just a little bit around. So I'm just going to push that up. Okay. 
So now let's have a look at the before and the after with the changes that we've made ourselves. So this is the before and this is the after. Now with the after here, you can see that we've managed to sharpen this image up pretty much to where it was before. And we've managed to get rid of all this noise. But I suppose the question is now, we've managed to get rid of the noise and there's no doubt this has done a really good job. But isn't this something that you can get in other software? Uh, the answer is yes. So why are you, or why would you be choosing to pay a premium for this? Isn't it just a big con? Well, I suppose it comes down to a couple of things. If we just pop back into the catalog section, if you're looking at an image which has noise, there are noise sliders in pretty much any photo editing software right now. What this offers you is the AI technology. And the AI technology in this case, choose exactly how much noise needs to be removed from your image. Whereas if you're normally doing this yourself, you're gonna be using a noise slider, you're gonna be pushing it up and down, and you're probably not gonna be able to dial it in quite as well as you've managed to get with this tool. But for that extra help, is it worth paying the money? And I suppose that's the question that you need to ask yourselves. I think obviously just on that first image, it works very well. We're gonna give it a little blast on this second image right now. So let's just see what this says. Okay, so it's saying high adjustment to this image as well. So let's go ahead and choose high. You can see there's a lot of noise here. I mean, okay, so I mean, there really is no doubting that it does a fantastic job of getting rid of the noise. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant, really. But once again, it comes down to that question, doesn't it? Is it worth paying the extra money for? I do like having this feature. I like the AI being able to decide exactly how much noise is in the image, and then it works in the background to get rid of it. I mean, just have a look at the before. This is what it was like before, and this is what it's like now. It's just completely got rid of everything. So, I mean, if we can actually push this up now with some details, a bit of sharpness, you can see that we can get this pretty much back to the image before when it comes to sharpness. Let's just have a look. Maybe it's a little bit softer, but only a little bit. So push that up, push this up a bit. And then I'd say we're back there now. And we've managed to get this image back to where it was before, but without any noise. So, I mean, I do think it actually works very, very well. I'm kind of quite surprised by how good it does remove it. But there's a couple of things which I don't like. I don't like the loading, the waiting time. Both times here I've waited 30 to 45 seconds, maybe even slightly longer to get this result. But there is no doubt that that looks really good now. And with an image here, which I've used a really high ISO um, to get this image with lots of noise and grain. You can see that it's just got rid of it completely. And now we've got this beautiful image. So, I mean, if you're working with really high ISOs, then this might be a good choice for that reason. Okay, guys, so where do I stand with this? I think, I don't think this is a big con. I really don't think it's a big con. Do I think that it's a little bit expensive? Yes, I do. But I can see why Luminar are going here with this. They're trying to push you towards their subscription service. And that's why they're now bringing out loads of different extensions in uh, the rest of this year to give you different um, tools and features and AI uh, tools which you can kind of use. Really giving uh, you a brilliant, I suppose, option for photo editing inside the Skylum platform. So from that point of view, it's great. But some of you I know will not want to spend the extra money and you'll be thinking, why should I have to? So there's these couple of things going on. I'm gonna wrap this up by quickly saying, I don't think it's a big con. I think it's a little bit expensive, but what I've actually tried out here, I think it works really well. Just takes a little bit long, that loading. But if you're, if you're quite a patient person, that shouldn't bother you too much. But if you're a little bit impatient, then maybe it's gonna annoy the hell out of you. Guys, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's joined me for the video today. Always appreciate you coming here on the channel. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. There's still a lot of you that watch these videos that are not subscribed. That would mean the world to me. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.